So actually, it was almost immediately that I felt a shift. I did the prompt the um, night that I asked you, like, hey, is this the right way to do it? And then I followed up with maybe three other times after that. But um, there was one time where there was a morning I woke up, I had like some thoughts going on that weren't like feeling good to me. And so I reminded myself to like check in and like get myself back into alignment. And I used the um, trust card and also the numbers. And I also watched the video. And honestly, after that, things like came in like i came back in to center um and then there was really no other times where i felt that uh negative energy and if there were i'm now i'm really able to just hone in on it and like get myself out of that mindset or any kind of energy that doesn't feel good even when i do might think of like some things about the relationship or um, you know, because we have children together, we have a lot of family pictures. And so usually, like before, if I would look at those pictures, I'd like dwell on it and, and you know, think of the loss of like the family splitting up. But now I just look at it and I see I don't have an attachment, let's say. There's no more of that attachment of wanting something to be there that's just not there anymore. So mm -hmm. honestly, that's a huge, huge transformation for me and so i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> i'm still being very um i would say take my time be more grounded and more centered um think about my values still rather than just looking for a replacement relationship or something just to get into because it might have that excitement initially but not you know maybe no other stability there but now I'm like grounded in who I am and what my needs are, um, my values and being very, um, what is the word? Um, just assertive in a way of like what I want with myself and with someone else. Yeah, and my last thing, my last note I'll mention is that after we did that together and you just reminded me every time, okay, Dominique was sacral authority, sacral authority, now after that call it was like i can't get away from that it's like yes sacred authority not mind not what would be right what did the world say it's like how do i feel what's my sacred what am i having that pull towards and what i'm not like you know and then if i'm not then if it's not a full body yes then it's just a no and so i've, I've been really really sticking to that and i feel just like such a much better overall person, honestly. Yeah, and you know, children are so amazing because really as the parent, the children really go off of the parent's energy. Whenever mm -hmm. I'm even like, I knew this before, and I do raise them like so genuinely and delicately where I want them to stay true to themselves. And now that I learned that they're projectors, I'm learning more about projectors and more about what their needs are. And even after speaking to you, like, okay, this is how this one will act. And although they're both projectors, they have different authorities. And so I even talked to them about it because remember I'm into astrology. So they know mm -hmm. I'm into like this self-development and all this, like what's truly you, what resonates with you. And so they're five and six years old. And I told my five-year-old like a little bit about her mental authority. Um, and then my other one is emotional authority. So I just allowed them to know, like, if you have this feeling in you, go with that. And if you don't have that feeling, then it's okay not to go with that. And and I can see how they sparked up and saw, like, oh, like, you see me. Like, you notice, like, wow, you know? And so, like, I'm really tapped in with them, and I always remind them to stay tapped in to who they are no matter what the world says. And I would just say overall, the experience has been phenomenal. I'm so happy I said yes to this. Um, it was probably my sacral authority pulling me there. Like, And so, yeah, it's been truly amazing. I would say that I've been working on like um, self-development and things like that, like strictly, strictly for, like all my life, of course, but really honing in for uh, going on two years now and i've done like so much womb work um tapping into my feminine power um 
just tapping into who I am. But this here, I feel like collapsed the time like tenfold. I would say, honestly, the work that I've already done and then adding this to it has just like really been the stamp on it. And just reminding like that sacral authority that it exists and it's there and it's here for me. And if I tap into it, I can only get what I desire and, and everything else like falls away. So mm. that's all that I can really share about that. I I call myself a Vedic astrologer, but I'm really a Vedic enthusiast. Um, I love the truth in things. And so I find the truth in my Vedic astrology and now with the human design. And what I learned is that human design uh, um, actually has the uh, same mapping of the sky as Vedic astrology. So they're kind of intertwined and they can actually be used as like sister sciences as well. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to connect um, with their Vedic astrology chart, I would love to. On Instagram, my handle is Vedic astrology priestess. And um, I offer readings, but I also really want to focus on um, helping people read their own chart so that they can find the answers for themselves because no one knows their life like they do. Like, you know, you know your life the best that you know it. I know my life better than anyone else. And so I feel like knowing your own chart is really going to help you find the deep, deep answers because I've had um, astrology readings done. But, you know, when you have a reading done by someone else, they might not know what you truly internally desire to know and what your full experiences were for your life. But when you can see it and learn it for yourself, it can really transform you and also collapse like going to a therapist to understand certain things that happen in your life, right? So um, I'm offering courses for you to learn your own chart um, and also one-on-one -on -one, um, like mentorship to go deeper into astrology, but also um, to help with life and be um, like a life coach and a life mentor to help with any um, life things. 